Once again, because you alone are God, we give you all the glory in our situation. You are beautiful. We know that you are in control no matter what we are seeing. Lord, we ask that your blessing rest upon us. Lord, we ask that today your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, everyone under the sound of my voice today, Lord, I ask that your blessing locate each and every one of them. Let good things begin to happen to each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every program of darkness against today's ministration, I find you all in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Today we are talking about the peace of God. Jesus said to his disciples, he said that my peace I give unto you. Jesus said, my peace I give unto you, not as the word giveth. When we look at the world that is full of trouble, when we look at the world that nothing you can be able to talk about, look and dream it, everywhere is trouble. Jesus said, my peace I leave unto you, my peace I give to you. Somebody may be saying, why do God say that his peace that he is living? You can understand God saying, Jesus saying to his disciples, he said that I leave my peace for you. I am leaving my peace with you. Somebody can say, why would Jesus leave money? Why would Jesus leave wealth? Why would he leave material things? Why did he say that peace he leave? Somebody can say, what am I doing with peace, without money? But until we understand the magnitude of the meaning of the word peace, we will know why Jesus decided to leave peace for us. Look at everywhere today, no peace in the world. Jesus said, in me you will have peace. In me you will have peace. Sometimes a man can have money without peace. Sometimes a man can have material things without peace. But when we go to the book of John, Gospel of John chapter 14, verse 27. Gospel of John chapter 14. Follow me. John Gospel chapter 14, verse 27. Look at what Jesus said. John chapter 14, from verse 27. John 14, 27. All right. Let me start from verse 25 so that we can understand it more. These things I spoke, this thing I have spoken to you, why being present with you, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all the things that I said to you. Look at verse 27. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Jesus promised us peace. Jesus said, I give you peace. And I searched I search very well, I discovered that peace is greater than money. I discovered that peace is greater than everything. The Bible said that the peace of God that supersedes human understanding shall be our portion. If you check the book of John Gospel, chapter 16, verse 33, John Gospel, chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus said, In the world you shall have tribulation, in the world you shall have trouble, in the world you will have persecution. But Jesus said that in me you will find peace. In me you will find peace. Any man that needs peace on earth will find peace in me. In the world, you will see trouble. We know that every country will see trouble everywhere. We can see trouble in marriage. We can see marriage trouble. We can see financial crisis. We can see problem everywhere, every part of the world. But Jesus said, anybody that needs peace, only in him you will find peace. Do you have peace of God? Do you have peace of God? I discovered there are many people that have money, but they are still living in sorrow because money cannot bring peace. Somebody can say, 
What is this peace Jesus is talking about? What is this peace Jesus is talking about? Because Jesus said in me you will find that peace. If you need peace, if any man need peace, if any government need peace, if any brother need peace, Jesus said in me you will find that peace. Somebody can say, what is this peace? The Bible let us understand about peace. The word of God said there is no peace for the wicked. The Bible said there is no peace for the wicked. And somebody can say, who is the wicked? And who are these wicked? That the Bible said no peace for them. The Bible makes us to understand no peace for the wicked. Why? Because every sinner, any man or woman that is still living in sin, is the wicked before God. Any man or woman that is still living in sin, is a wicked person. And the Bible said no peace for the wicked. No peace for the wicked. Because Jesus promised us that only in Him we will see peace. Only in Him we will find peace. We can never find peace anywhere else. We cannot find peace anywhere else. Are you at peace with God? That is to say that you have surrendered your life to Jesus. That is to say that your life has been surrendered to Him. Because the Bible said that without Him, you will not find peace. In Him you find peace. Do you have peace, brother? Say the peace of God is in you. Because a wicked person will never have that peace. A wicked man, a wicked woman, a wicked brother will never find peace. According to what Bible said. So any man that needs peace of God, I'm talking about the peace of God. I'm not talking about the material things that make us be happy. Or something that make us to be relaxed for some time. I am talking about the peace of God. Do you have peace? Do you know why you are, why you are crying you could not be able to sleep in the night? Because you are lacking the peace of God. I discover in life what you have right now. If God can divide it into 20 and share it to people that have peace of God, let me tell you, they will, be, they will do well more than you. I said very well, I discover how many people are suffering from high BP? I discovered that the categories of men that are suffering high BP are mainly rich people. Why? Because they normally think they don't have peace. They don't have peace of God inside them. They don't have peace. That is what peace of God means. Do you have peace in your life? Do you have peace? The Bible said that in me you will find peace. Jesus said, in the world you will see trouble. So when you continue depending on the government of your country, you are depending on your governor, you are depending on your president. The Bible said that only in Christ will find peace. That is why no government of the world that is 100% good. No government of any country that is 100% good. And Jesus said that in the world you will find trouble. In the world you will see tribulation. In the world you will face trials. In the world you will face disappointment. In the world you will face sorrow. Sometimes you say, Oh, why am I facing all these things? Jesus promised us that in this life we will only see sorrow. We will only see trouble. We will only see tribulation. But Jesus said, But any man that needs peace will have peace only in him. Only in him. The Bible makes us to understand that that peace of God supersedes the knowledge of man. I never see a, 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 I mean, I never see any sinner that is happy. I never see one sinner that is happy. I have come and count that many sinners. They are millionaires. They may be thousandaires. They may be millionaires. They may be billionaires. But they don't have that peace that is talking about. They don't have the peace. They don't have it. I discover that a sinner can build a house. I discover that a sinner can buy any kind of car he or she wants. I discover that a sinner can travel to any part of nation he or she wants. But I discover I never see any sinner that has peace. Because the Bible says no peace for the wicked. No peace for any man that is not righteous. No peace for any, any sinner. No peace for that wicked person. 
The Bible says, Say unto the righteous, it shall be well with them. But when you find any sinner, the Bible says, Say to him, it shall never be well with him. Check very well. Why are you not living a enjoyable life? Why? You look at your life. You discover that you have little thing to make your life comfortable. But why are you not comfortable? You shake. You discover that people that don't have money to compare to what you have, they have peace. They are living comfortable more than you. You discover that you are living a worrisome life. You are living a life full of worry. You are living a life full of sorrow. Yet you have money. Yet you have some things others don't have. But these people that don't have what you have, they are living a comfortable life. I have discovered that what life desire is very simple, very small. All these are our toiling and our, our sorrow, our, our grabbing it here, grabbing it there. What life requires is just little. I said very well, I discovered that life is very, very simple, but men don't understand life. Jesus said, peace I live for you, my peace I give to you, not as the world give it. And Jesus promised, in the world you will see trouble. People are expecting the government of their country to turn things around. People are expecting the government of their different nations and different countries and different states to make them to live a comfortable life. But Jesus said that in the world we will only see trouble. In the world, we will only see trouble. If you overcome this trouble here, you will see another one on the other side. Then how can we live a good life? Only in Christ we find peace. I discovered that in Christ is like another world entirely. A man that is in Christ is in another world entirely. I have come and counter different people that are in Christ Jesus. Their life is totally different from others. The way they speak, the way they talk, the way they do their things, you discover that they are in another country entirely. They did not believe what other people are believing. They are not living their life the way other people are living. Yet, they are still in the same country, but they are not in the same place with them. Peace. Do you have peace? You need the peace of God. If I may tell you that when peace is not in your life, your business refuses to flourish, you will say it's not true. Because in the realm of the spirit, peace is the highest thing in that realm. Peace. The punishment God gave to demons, the punishment God gave to Satan, and the unclean spirit that disobeyed him was lack of peace. They were restless. In the realm of the spirit, the highest realm in that place is peace. The realm of peace. And God, look at unclean spirits, look at demons, look at devil that disobey him. God decided to punish them by making them not to have peace. They were restless. Up to now, they are restless. The highest realm in the realm of the spirit is the realm of peace. And that is what Jesus said, my peace I give to you. Some people said, oh, their father said that they, their father that died many years ago, never find peace. Their father said they should go and buy a cow and give for him so that he will find rest. Because in the realm of the spirit, the highest realm there is the realm of rest. Rest. And the man that have no peace will never find rest. A man that have no peace we never find rest. If you have not made peace with the Lord, the Bible said that word to him that fighteth his maker. Many of us are fighting God. We are fighting God in different ways because we don't want to surrender our life to Jesus. We are still fighting God. We don't want to accept the sacrifice Jesus made for us on the cross. Some people are still fighting God. They don't want to surrender their life. They are still fighting. They don't want to surrender their life. The Bible told us about a man called Jacob. He then came the angel of the Lord appeared to Jacob. And Jacob was wrestling with an angel of the Lord. Jacob was wrestling with an angel of the Lord. Likewise, many of us in our businesses today, we are still wrestling with God. 
Angel of the Lord came to Jacob. Jacob refused to obey God. Jacob was fighting with an angel. The Bible said that Jacob would fight the angel from night in morning. And when the angel looked at Jacob and discovered there is nothing to make Jacob to obey what God wants, to make Jacob obey what God said, the Bible said that the angel touched Jacob's side. His hip shifted. And the Bible said the angel Jacob fell down. Jacob now bent down. Immediately Jacob bent down. That was what God was looking from Jacob. From all the days, Jacob was suffering and struggling and fighting with God. Jacob, God wanted him to surrender to him, but Jacob said no. Even when the angel of God came to him, Jacob was still ready to fight. Our problem is because we don't want to surrender to Jesus. We don't want to surrender. We know what to do to be rich. We know what we can do to get house. We know what we do to get many things. But do you know what we do to get this? I said that serving Jesus, following Jesus, surrendering your life to God, is not only making you to live a glorious life. We are talking about eternal life here. I tell you the truth, if you can just surrender your life to Him, if you can just surrender your life to Jesus, if you can just surrender your life, you say, ah, oh, why is it that this thing I'm doing is not working? It's not working because you have never been at peace with the Lord. Well, why this thing is not working? Jesus said, peace I give to you. My peace I give to you. You never have that peace of God in your life. When there is no peace of God in your life, how will your business flourish? When there is no peace of God in your life, how will you enjoy marriage? When there is lack of God's peace in your home, how will you have a good home? When there is a lack of God's peace in your finance, how will you prosper? When there is a lack of peace in your life, how will you prosper? The Bible said that the peace of God that supersedes human understanding shall the Lord God Almighty give to us. You need to make peace with God. My today's illustration is very simple. You need to make peace with God. Find any area you are fighting God and make peace with Him. Which area are you fighting God? The Bible is telling you, don't commit sin. You say it doesn't matter. The Bible is telling you, live a holy life. You say it doesn't matter. Which area in your life you are fighting God? You need to make peace with God. And somebody can say, how will I make peace with God? The only way to make peace with God is to surrender your life to Jesus. If you can surrender your life to Him now, you will be at peace with Him. And I tell you the truth, that the Bible said that the wisdom of God, even the peace of God that supersedes human understanding, the Lord will give to you. I don't know any one of you here that never have peace or her mind to serve the Lord. I am not talking about just, just confessing Jesus with your mouth like many people do. Many people have confessed Jesus. A lot of people have received Jesus over and over and over again and their life never changed. Nothing has changed. Their finance never changed. Their business no change. Their marriage no change. Because they are not genuinely surrendered their life to Jesus. Do you know that when you are when you are not genuinely surrendered your life to Jesus, you are wasting time. When you are not genuinely surrendered your life, some people said, but I am going to church. Things are not moving well with me. But I am going to church. My business is not flourishing. Shake very well. Are you genuinely born again? I'm not talking about when they call out that call. The people that want to give their life to Jesus, come out. Everybody come out. Because you hear the testimony of preacher. You hear the testimony of preacher. How the preacher told you the way God prospered him. The way God gave him protection. The way God gave him mansion. The way God gave him billions and millions. And because of those blessings, when the priests are called for testimony, when the priests are called for other call, you will not come out to give your life to Jesus. But you know that you are not genuinely giving your life to Jesus. I want you to know that anybody that refuses to give his life to Jesus, genuinely will suffer in the hand of darkness. But if you can make up your mind today and say from today, I will be born again. In spirit and truth, you will see God.
wherever you are right now, we want to surrender your life to Jesus. Can you pray this prayer with me and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Today, I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. Cancel my name from the book of death. Write my name into the book of life. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless every one of you. May the blessings of God be with you. Shall I pray for you? Let me pray for you. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Wherever you are, let me pray for you. Our God in heaven will thank you for today. Thank you because there is that peace that supersedes the knowledge of man.